guys welcome again to my channel uh, Maria here from little needs and uh, today I will show you how I work a bear bonnet using Angora yarn this is from uh, gallery yarns in white I need to make one as a custom order and I thought why not let me show you how I work a bear bonnet with Angora usually I need more than uh, this uh, little a ball of yarn um, let's see I will use needles four millimeters or US six and we start with the long tail cast on let me see if I find the middle here mm, I don't think okay so we need to cast on 51 stitches so cast on 51 two three four Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Continue to cast on until you have uh, fifty one stitches on your needle. I got my fifty one stitches. Now we can start to work our little bear bonnet. Row one is the wrong side and uh, it will be a pearl stitch row. Except, uh, excepting the um, first three stitches and the last three stitches. This will be uh, worked in garter stitch okay so the garter stitch is when you uh, knit on the front side and also knit on the back side I will uh, uh, start uh, a couple of stitches uh, with uh, together with this tail so let's see we knit the first three stitches one two three then we purl until our last three stitches um, try to um, not uh, work very tight the stitches we need the same tension of the stitch on the purl side and also on the knit side okay so row one we knit the first three stitches then purl until the last three stitches I am almost there almost there this is such a beautiful and um, fluffy yarn <clears throat> and soft 
so soft but I think you already know that if you work worked with this yarn and expensive <laughs> I forgot to say that it's very expensive okay so these are my last three stitches I will knit these three stitches so this was row one and the wrong side row two on the right side we just knit every stitch also uh, from the row two I always uh, slip the first stitch as uh, if I purl okay so row two we need all the stitches I know people um, well, probe vendors um, many of them work uh, Angora with uh, US 7 or um, 4.5 millimeters needles or more but I think I uh, like how uh, it looks with US 6 or 4 millimeters needles this is the way I do almost there so as you can see we work this bonnet in stockinette stitch okay on the right side we knit on the wrong side we purl So this is my last stitch from <clears throat> row two. Now we can start to work row three. So we slip the first stitch as if we purl. Then we need the next two stitches. Then we purl until we reach our last three stitches on this row then we will knit those last three stitches so this is row three nothing complicated And uh, for me, it's always a pleasure to work with this beautiful yarn. I remember my first bonnet, bare bonnet. It was hard to find the... Uh, the right uh, needles the right number of stitches and also the right tension for this yarn okay so these are my last three stitches I will uh, knit these three stitches <clears throat> so this was row three on row four of course we need every stitch we start by slipping the first stitch as if we purl then we 
uh, knit every stitch. So this is row four. This is the last row I'm working with you. I will explain you <clears throat> how many rows you need to work until uh, the decrease part. So row four, knit every stitch. Almost done with row four. <clears throat> so easy and beautiful. Okay, so I've done with row four. Let me show you how my work looks so far. This is how my first four rows looks. You see, I have a good tension. Okay, so we've done four rows. We need to continue to work in stockinet stitch until we reach a row 21. And row 21, it will be a pearl row. So remember, we work in stockinet stitch. On the uh, right side, we knit. On the wrong side, we purl, except the first uh, three stitches and the last three stitches on uh, the purl side that we uh, knit. These are our border stitch. You can see here and you can see here. So I will meet you after a row. 21. I've done row 21. This is how it looks so far. Our bonnet. Now we can start the decrease part. The first and the second row our decrease part we will work back and forth then after row two we will work in circular so let's see we have 51 stitches and we worked 21 rows until now okay so with row 22 we start the decrease <clears throat> first we need to um, knit six stitches we slip the first so this is the one two three four five six <clears throat> then we knit two stitches together so this is the repetition until the end of the row. Knit six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Then knit two stitches together. Again, knit six, one, two, three, four, five, six. 
knit two stitches together knit six one two three four five six then knit two stitches together again knit six one two three four five six and knit two stitches together and the last repetition knit one two three four five six and knit two stitches together and now we have three more stitches left on the needle we need those three stitches so this was row one. On row two, we knit the first three stitches. We slip the first, knit the next two stitches, and then we purl until we reach <clears throat> our last three stitches so we had um 51 stitches we decreased six stitches so you should count here 45 stitches on this row row two of our decrease part On the next row we will join and work in round the rest of the decrease part <clears throat> so row two purl until the last uh, three stitches almost there You see I'm working with double pointed needles and I need two more double pointed needles okay now we can start to work in circular okay so I have <laughs> a different double pointed needles because they are all in different projects So, row three of our decrease, we need um, five stitches. So, need one, two, three, four, and five. Then we need two stitches together. One more time for this needle one, two, three four five stitches then we knit two stitches together i'm gonna use another double point needle and i am working the same i need five stitches one two three four five then I will knit two stitches together. Again, knit five. One, two, three, four, and five. Then you need knit two stitches together. This is my second double needle, a double pointed needle, and my third. 
now. Again, knit five stitches. One, two, three, four, and five. Then knit two stitches together. Again, knit five. One, two, three, four, and five. And knit two stitches together. We have three more stitches. We knit these three stitches. So this was our row three of the decrease part. Okay, this is the back of the bonnet. This is the front. This is how you join. Row four, we knit every stitch. Pull here to close the gap, but carefully because this yarn it's um, it break very easy okay so this is row four on row four we need every stitch Almost done with row four. The last needle. So this was row four. On row five, we start by knitting four stitches. So one, two, three, four. Then we knit two stitches together. Again, knit four, one, two, three, four, and then knit two stitches together. Again, knit four stitches, one, two, three, four, then knit two stitches together. Again, knit four, one, two, three, four, then knit two stitches together. And the last needle, knit four, one, two, three, four, knit two stitches together. Again, knit four, one, two, three, four, and knit two stitches together. We have three more stitches on our needle. We will knit these three stitches. <clears throat> this was uh, row five. On row six, we knit every stitch. And I will come back and work with you row seven. We are at row seven. On row seven, we start by 
knitting three stitches then we need to stitch it together so this is uh, the repetition for this row row seven knit three knit two together okay so knit three knit two stitches together knit three then knit two stitches together again knit three then knit two stitches together knit three one two and three and then knit two stitches together we end with three stitches we knit this three stitches so this was row seven three more rows and we and with the bonnet so row eight we knit every stitch so knit every stitch i will come back for row nine So row nine, on row nine, we start by knitting two stitches, then we knit two stitches together. So this is the repetition, knit two, knit two stitches together, again, knit two then knit two stitches together knit two then knit two stitches together one more time knit two knit two stitches together knit two knit two stitches together my last three stitches i knit these three stitches this was row nine and the last row row ten On row 10 we start by knitting one stitch then knit two stitches together so this is the repetition knit one knit two stitches together again knit one knit two stitches together knit one knit two stitches together again knit one knit two stitches together knit one knit two stitches together and the last three stitches we finally decrease these three stitches on last row so knit one and knit two stitches together <clears throat> you will end up with 
4, 8, 10, 12, 14 stitches. Now we need to cut the yarn. Like this. And we need to seal uh, these 14 stitches. Oh, this is not my yarn. Let's see. We wave this tail through all the stitches. Okay. These are my first four stitches. Another four stitches. And my last six stitches now let's secure these stitches pull gently so you don't break the yarn gently wave it a couple of times through all these stitches. Gently pull. Okay, now insert here and turn the work on the wrong side and we will make two or three knots. Actually, I will make double knots but keep, be careful because you need to pull very, very gently and not breaking the yarn. It breaks so easy. I will make another one. Okay. I think it's enough. Okay. We will cut here. I have one more tail from the beginning from my long tail cast on. I cut these two. And now let's make ties. So this is how our bonnet looks um, this is newborn size I don't remember if I said this this is the newborn size now <clears throat> I will make the ties two ties let's see I have like, uh, I will measure these ties to tell you exactly. So I have three um, strips of yarn and unfold it. and attach in each corner of the bonnet with the help of a crochet hook. But I guess you already know this. Another one. So I've told you at the beginning of this video that if you want to make a bear bonnet 
with Belangor from Galar Yarns. And if you will use the same number of stitches and rows and the same number of needles as I did in this video, then you will not uh, have uh, yarn left for the ears. Okay, I will show you what is left from my first uh, ball of yarn. So this is all I have from my first ball of yarn of Belangor from Galler Yarn. So I need more yarn for the ears. Okay, let's make the ears. We will use the same number of needles, four millimeters or US six. We will cast on long tail cast on method. We will cast on uh, 16 stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. We will make here a knot. You want to leave about uh, at least 10 inches of um, tail because with this tail we will sew the ears on the bonnet. Now I have 16 stitches. Okay, I will place 8 stitches on this right needle one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I have eight here and eight here. This is how I do. I will work this circular. So this is my tail. And this is the yarn that um, I use to knit those ears. Okay, we will start with row one. You know that you are at the beginning of the row because you have this tail on the right side. Okay, as long you have this day on your right side, you know that you are at the beginning of a row. We will work in knit stitch uh, for about um, seven rows. We won't increase, we don't decrease, just work in knit stitch for seven rows. It's a little bit tricky to work the ears <laughs> with these needles, but uh, I, uh, I'm already used to uh, do like, like this. So this is the first row. 
we need six more. Okay, so this is row one. Okay, let's do row two. One double point needles here. It's actually a half of a year. And the other double pointed needles is the other half of the year. So this is row two. Continue to work like this until you reach seven rows. So we have here two rows. We need to work five more. Remember, I know that this is the beginning of the row because I have this uh, tail on the right uh, side. So I will meet you after five more rows. I've done my seven rows. This is how it looks. Now we will cut a yarn, leaving a short tail because we need to wave the stitches for this first ear. Like this. So we pick up the first eight stitches from the first double point needle. And pull the tail through those stitches. And we do the same with the other eight stitches. Same, we pull the yarn to close the stitches, careful to not break the yarn. We wave it one more time. And now we turn the work on the wrong side like this and secure the stitches with one or two knots. Like this. Like this. This is my second knot. I will make it double knot. And this is our first ear. We cut the yarn here. <clears throat> so this is our first ear. Okay. We need to work one more, exactly the same by long tail, uh, cast on 16 stitches, work in knit stitch um, 7 rows, and then cut the yarn and uh, sew the stitches together. I will come back and show you how to uh, sew these ears on the bonnet. I've got my two years, middle years. Uh, before we start to sew these ears on the bonnet, uh, we need to find the middle of the bonnet. And the middle is um, the stitch um, 26. So I will count the stitches. I have two here. You can count 
very easy because you see them here let me show you so this is one stitch this is another and another so count 26 i already have here three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty two twenty four twenty six so this is my 26 stitch oh sorry i will place here a marker because i want to be able to see the middle of the bonnet so uh, i can place correctly the ears okay let's see i have three five seven nine ten twelve fourteen sixteen eighteen twenty twenty two twenty four twenty six yes so this is the middle of my bonnet i have my mannequin head i know many people says that it's creepy but for me it's perfect okay so you can place the marker this is my 26 uh, you can place the marker on row six when um, working the bonnet it's more easy but I'm sorry I forgot to uh, give you this information now we can start and sew the ears so the first year we need to see we have here this gap between the last stitch and the first stitch you insert the needle yarn in the first stitch and pull the yarn i don't know if you can see so i will place the first ear here from the middle i have two four five stitches so um, when uh, uh, facing the bonnet this is the middle count uh, five stitches um, from uh, left from the middle to left from the um, stitch marker and we start to sew this bonnet like this i have like two four another five stitches from the uh, edge and you pick up one stitch of the bonnet and one of the ear and pull again one from the bonnet one from the ear again one from the bonnet one from the ear again this is how i sew this little ears i hope oops i hope you can see what i am doing here so god it's not easy <laughs> And again one stitch from the bonnet and one from the ear I'm not taking all the stitches from the ear we have eight stitches here and eight in the back 
Okay, now we turn and continue to pick up one stitch from the bonnet, one from the ear, one from the bonnet. You see, like this. like this just gently pull the yarn through the stitches like this and this was my last one turn the work again and I'm not making knots I just wave the stitches through the ear and cut the yarn let me show you the first ear so this is how look so far so this is the first ear now let's place the second this is the uh, the second year for me it's very hard to see you because uh, even if I have the stitch marker and I know how many uh, stitches between the middle and uh, from where I start to see the the ear never uh, look perfect never so we count again five stitches one two three four five and five from here from the border from the edge front edge one two three four five and in on the sixth we you the ear oops okay remember one stitch from the bonnet one from the ear one from the bonnet and one from the ear okay one more stitch and we've done half we see you half of the year now turn and again i don't know how to show you like this maybe okay so one from the bonnet one from the ear one stitch from the bonnet and one from the ear oops keeps falling this mannequin head one more okay we turn the work oops <laughs> sorry and wave through the stitches we cut here and oh my god let's see let's rearrange a little the bonnet okay so this is the middle and these are the ears okay so 
so this is it this is how I work um, a newborn bear angora bonnet this is photography prop and this is our newborn uh, size bear bonnet photography prop um, if you are located in Europe uh, and um, maybe you want to buy this yarn I will uh, give you a link in the description below the video so uh, uh, you can see from where I buy um, this yarn remember this is uh, Belangor from um, Galler uh, yarns I would like to thank you for uh, watching my videos for uh, the feedback you send me and um, don't forget to subscribe to like uh, this video uh, to maybe share it with your friends or um, someone who wants to learn how to um, knit a bare bonnet thank you again and uh, i wish you happy knitting